Hi guys, it's Natalie. Welcome to my channel. I'm not even gonna say what you know I'm wanna talk about, but uh, we're just gonna, we're just not gonna even go there because uh, I can have a bad temper sometimes, so we just won't even go there. So anyway, welcome to my channel. Today, we are doing a nice, safe, G-rated makeup tutorial. We are going to be talking about a new foundation. Who knows what we're talking about? Anybody? Anybody? You in the back? Yes, you. That was corny. Ooh, that was a little too corny. Okay. So anyway, we are talking about the new Benefit Happy Hello Foundation. Has anyone tried this? Does anyone want to try it? Ooh, I don't know what side's the front. Hmm. I guess that's side with the smiley. I haven't done a foundation one in a while, so I was like, yeah, you know what? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I feel like Benefit's really been slacking. Like, what do they... I feel like they're never coming out with anything. So I was like, all right, let's try this. So I ordered it from Ulta. It actually came super quickly. I was surprised. This is my first Ulta order. How crazy is that? So I got some little extra samples in there. Nothing too exciting. A leave-in conditioner or moisturizer. Yeah, leave-in conditioner and then some other samples I didn't even really look at. Just some more skincare. Um, oh, Clinique. Oh, I use all the time. And then Skin Fortifying Daily Booster Mineral 89. Ah, anyone ever try that? I have not. And then I got my foundation. This was, so it's $29. So it's pretty reasonably priced for a higher end um, foundation, I would say for a non-drugstore foundation. This is pretty reasonably priced. Although I will say when I got it, I was surprised on the size. I just thought overall, it seems a little small, huh? It seems a little small. So we're gonna, we're gonna open it up. I got shade three soft, um, it says soft blur foundation. I didn't realize Sephora was also selling it. Okay, so let's see what the description is on Sephora. It's called the Benefit Soft Blur Foundation. It retails for $29. There is, I think it said, three light, light shades, four, five medium, and four dark. Um, only eight reviews so far. Overall, it looks like they're pretty good. The coverage is light, skin type sensitive, normal, dry combination, and oily, finish natural, SPF 15. It's a light to medium coverage liquid foundation with broad spectrum SPF 15 sun protection. Um, it evens out the look of skin tone and blurs imperfection with soft focus optical blurring spheres. The lightweight buildable formula is easy to apply and flashback free. Plus it contains shea extract, an ingredient which is known to smooth the look of skin and help protect it. With a natural matte finish and light to medium coverage, this foundation looks like skin and feels like nothing at all. It's available in 12 easy to choose shades that let a range of skin tones put on a happy face. To create a smoother than smooth canvas for makeup, start your look with Benefit's best-selling professional, which I have. All right. All right, guys, we're good to go. We're, I totally wasn't even thinking that that is the primer I'm using. So, as I said, I got shade three. Just because um, I am not the palest right now that I am throughout the whole year. I know I'm still pale, but this one was, I think, neutral. And then shade two was warm, was fair warm, which I couldn't get. And then the fair light 
which was the cool one. I think it just was too light. Like it, I knew it would, it was not gonna look right. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go with this one. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You know, whatever. So comes in this cute little box with a smiley. And then it says, hello, happy on the back. The packaging is extremely cute. So you open it and it comes wrapped in a little, Aw, that, and then on the back it has like just little statistics of what people say about it. Uh, pretty much what I just read to you. It just, it says, shake well before use, blend one drop onto clean moisturized face. Repeat to build coverage. Okay, so it's pretty small, honestly. This is, this is small, you're only getting one ounce so compared to actually maybe oh my gosh so you're getting one ounce in here and you're getting like 1.1 wow what an optical illusion huh oh uh-uh Look at that. It comes like that, so you're like squeezing it and you're... I do not like that. I'm not even ready with the rest of my stuff to go. Okay, so let me hurry up and get this on my face since it's already squirted out everywhere. I do love, love, love this primer though. I will say that. Let's push the hair back a little bit. So, I'm just gonna put this where my problem pores are. And we do have to remember when we're checking out my skin, I am on retinol. And when I went on vacation, I kind of like wasn't using it like I should have been. And now that I'm back to using it like I should, my skin is drying out a little bit again. I have noticed it's a little drier than usual so that is something we have to take into consideration and like I've just been changing up my skincare when we're seeing how this lays it's not gonna be like totally the foundation's fault so I'm gonna like scrape this out of the lid see this is already a mess like I am not liking the presentation of this like I feel like I just wasted so much so I'm gonna get it on my finger because how else am I gonna do it it's like exploding out of there and took a damp beauty blender I like this shade and I like this foundation wow I like it uh-huh. Honestly, I am shocked at how well this is laying on my skin right now. Considering how dry I noticed my skin was from the retinol. Oh, wow. I'm picky about foundation and I like this definitely not super full coverage definitely definitely lightweight but buildable you know but I like that to tell you the truth even though I like a full face I I prefer a not I thought I was like a full coverage queen for foundation but I'm not at all now that I've been experimenting with some different foundations I'm not man sometimes the full coverage lately my skin's in a good spot I'm not liking it I would prefer to build like this or my makeup forever which I love my makeup forever I do not like the presentation of how this comes. I understand their concept of you squirt a little bit out, and but 
to tell you the truth, I am not a fan at all of how this comes. Now, and I just, I wasn't expecting it. So like, don't be squeezing it when you're opening it, that's for sure, or it's gonna be all over the place. Um, how the foundation actually works. It's amazing. This might be this combination of their primer with this. This might be one of my favorite combinations this far. And I'm, I can't believe it. Wow. I really have been liking my NARS um, concealer lately. Do they have a concealer? So let's go in with that and then you know what test I love to do I love to put my translucent powder on and see uh, how everything looks once I get that on cuz that's the part that like gets your face looking dry guys I think this might actually be a winner in my book uh-huh This is, well, let's try the powder. Wow. I'm shook. Isn't that what I'm supposed to say? Oh my God, you know what I can't stand when a beauty guru like is like attempting to, or someone's like attempting to say one of the cool words for like the first time, but they know they're not one of the originals. So they're like, oh, I'm saying it. And you can hear in their voice that they're not sure if like people are gonna judge them from saying it. And they're like, I'm, I'm shook. And it just is like, all right, okay, bye. This isn't even real. Like, what is happening? Okay, wait. I was so happy for a second, and now I'm looking and like, it's lifting. Damn it. See, we are gonna have to try a couple times. Like, right here, it's like flawless. Like, I'm looking and I'm like, oh my god. But then like here, I'm looking and I'm like, oh girl. It's like lifting off of my face. Why? Why? It was so perfect. See? I'm gonna have to try like a brand new sponge because even though that sponge isn't dirty, it has been used. Like, there's so many factors and sometimes I just don't want to say like it's the product, but I think it's the product because I haven't. Oh... I swear to God, it wasn't splotchy. And now my entire face is splotchy. What is going on here? Or is it, is it my dry, see, my skin is so dry, I don't know. And that's what's frustrating. But like, for dryness wise, like my skin is as dry as a desert right now. And when I say, <laughs> that I cannot believe I'm looking at it and it doesn't look dry like it looks splotchy but it doesn't look like dry dry how it's been looking lately with my other foundations so that is like impressing me I don't know we're gonna really have to see guys because like the splotchiness is not okay from the level I'm seeing over here it's like a no go. Let me do the rest of my face. Hi guys. Okay, so I finished my makeup. I know, crazy. Look, do you think these match my shirt? I think it's like a nice huh, pink look. Put on some glitter. Never use glitter anymore. I don't know. I kind of like it. I 
kind of like it. It's kind of flower, summer, girly-esque, right? And that thing, I don't know what that thing is, but there it is. Um, I'm getting tape-ins next. I can't wait to get some tape-ins. From what I hear, they work great with fine hair. But um, anyway, okay, so now that I have all my makeup laid down, honestly, hmm, this is so tricky to me because, like, I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh my god, I love it. And then I'll come like really close and my face, it's, it's flaking so badly. But I almost think that it's my skin and that there's no way around it. So I don't know. I don't know if it's the foundation or if it's my skin. But I don't seem to remember it being like this yesterday when I had my makeup forever on. That's the thing. So overall, um, I don't really care for the packaging of this. I just, I don't, I don't. It's like cheap to me. This reminds me of something that I would get in the drugstore. Um, I don't know. I would have to try this a couple more times. But overall, I know that it's not my favorite foundation. When I first tried it, I was like, oh my god. And then it was almost like when it dried down, I just did not care for it as much. So if anyone else has tried this, let me know what you think of it or what your opinions are. If you're going to purchase it, if it's definitely a pass, um, yeah, I would like to know. You know, check out my um, Instagram for my Jeffree Star giveaway that's going on right now. It's almost time for the palette to launch. I'm super excited. Who else is excited? So excited. Um, yeah, um, give this video a thumbs. Give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys tomorrow because I know I'm definitely going to put up my eyelashes get stuck because there's so many of them and they'll be like trying to talk um, I'm definitely going to put out another video tomorrow I know that for sure because I have a lot of content in the video this week so I will see you guys tomorrow I love you